السلام علیکم اس ویڈیو میں ہم سی ایس ایس جنرل سائنس اینڈ ایبلٹی 2023 کے پیپر کا کوشچن نمبر 8 انڈرسٹینڈ کریں گے اس کا اے پارٹ ہے علی بیز این اوون فار آر ایس 36,800 این سیل سیڈ ایٹ اگین آف آر ایس 8.5 پرسنٹ فار ہاو مچ ڈز ہی سیل ایٹ لیٹ سال دس ناو کاؤسٹ پرائیس آف دا اوون is 36,800 rupees gain profit percent is equal to 8.5 percent we have to find the sale price now sale price will be equal to cost price plus the profit he has gained from that amount 8.5 percent of cost price now cost price is 36,800 plus 8.5 percent ki jagah hum niche 100 likh dete hain multiply that cost price 36,800 ye do zero cancel ho jayenge now 36,800 plus this will be 3,128 plus so if we add this the sale price will be equal to 39,928 rupees now this is the required sale price of the oven question number 8 ka b part hai a card is drawn at random from a box containing 12 cards numbered from 1 to 12 find the probability of drawing نمبر ون پہ ہے ایٹ این ایون نمبر پرفیکٹ اسکوائر این نیگیٹیو نمبر اینڈ این نمبر لیس دین تھرٹین لیٹ سال دس کوششن سالوشن ناو دا سیمپل اسپیس آر دا ٹوٹل نمبر آف کارڈز ایس سیمپل اسپیس ایس ایکوال ٹو ون ٹو ٹویل ون ٹو تھری up to 12 now probability of an event let's write the formula first probability of event a is always equal to total number of events favorable to a number of events favoring a divided by total number of events in actual total number of events are sample space in short probability of a is equal to number of events favorable to a divided by total number of events in the sample space now the first question is probability of drawing 8 probability of drawing 8 now here probability of a will be equal to now probability of drawing 8 out of this 12 now 8 is just a number 1 so the probability of drawing 8 is 1 so number of events favorable to a are 1 divided by total number of events now total number of events are 12 in the sample space so the probability of drawing 8 is 1 over 12 second pair the probability of an even number probability of an even number so even number kitne number of a jo favor karte hain even numbers ko they are 2 4 6 8 10 and 12 they are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 6 even numbers so probability of a or you can write here probability of having an even number even number this will be equal to now number of a is 6 and number of values in the sample space are 12 so this will be equal to 1 over 2 this is the required probability for an even number number 3 pe hai probability of perfect square perfect 
स्क्वायर नाउ हेयर परफेक्ट स्क्वायर कौन से हैं एन ऑफ ए इक्वल वन परफेक्ट स्क्वायर है फोर है नाइन है तो तीन है सो नंबर ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड नंबर ऑफ एस हेयर इज आल्सो ट्वेल्व सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ ए डिवाइडेड बाय नंबर ऑफ एस सो नंबर ऑफ ए इज थ्री एंड नंबर ऑफ एस इज ट्वेल्व सो दिस विल बी वन ओवर फोर सो दिस इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी फॉर ड्राइंग अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर नंबर फोर पे है प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ नेगेटिव नंबर प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ नेगेटिव नंबर सो नेगेटिव नंबर तो कोई भी नहीं है इसमें सो नंबर ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो कोई भी नेगेटिव नंबर नहीं है so, अच्छा नंबर ऑफ ए जो है वो जितने नंबर होते हैं वो एक्चुअल नंबर्स नहीं सो नंबर ऑफ ए इसमें है ज़ीरो सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ अ नेगेटिव नंबर विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो ओवर ट्वेल्व विच विल बी ज़ीरो एंड फाइव पे है अ नंबर लेस देन थर्टीन प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ अ नंबर लेस देन थर्टीन सो कितने नंबर थर्टीन से लेस हैं ट्वेल्व के ट्वेल्व नंबर जो है वो थर्टीन से लेस हैं सो एन ऑफ ए इज ट्वेल्व एन ऑफ एस इज आल्सो ट्वेल्व सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ नंबर लेस देन थर्टीन विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेल्व विच विल बी इक्वल टू वन सो द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ड्राइंग अ नंबर लेस देन थर्टीन इज वन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट का सी पार्ट है द सेंटिलेशन न्यूक्लियर रेडिएशन डिटेक्टर डिटेक्ट्स द अल्फा रेज पर सेकंड व्हेन द एनर्जी ऑफ द अल्फा रेज ई इन इज इन मेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन वर्ल्ड increases the number of counts n c on the detector also increases linearly as shown in the table below draw the graph of n c as a function of energy in mega electron volt and find the energy of unknown alpha ray if the number of counts are 31600 so given table hai here is energy in mega electron volt and here is number of counts these are five values 1 2 3 4 now first of all let's draw the graph so these points 1 2 3 4 and 5 let's say these are energy e not and this vertical line 1 2 3 4 and 5 these are let's say number of counts so the first point was 0.25 and this is 0.45 this is 0.65 this is 1 and this is 1.4 and this is the first point 10000 the second is 20000 and the third point is 30000 fourth point is 40000 and the fifth point is 50000 so iska sabse pehle graph draw karte hain jab e jo hai wo 0.25 hai then the nc is 17500 uh, approximately at this point so this will be here when e is 0.45 then nc is 23500 approximately at this point 23500 when e is 0.65 then nc is 29500 approximately at this point when e is 1 then nc is 40000 is 1 c is 
when e is 4 nc is 52000 so nc is approximately at this point 50 2000 so the graph be like a straight line because they are linearly related so this is some of a straight line graph now by using this graph we have to find the value of e naught when nc is number of count is 31600 now 31600 it is approximately at this point somewhere 31600 now here we will draw the graph thirty one thousand and six hundred and this will come somewhere here so that value will be here thirty one thousand and six hundred now we have to find this value what will be this here we can take some approximation of the value of e but i want to tell you a method where from you can find the best possible approximate answer now see this e naught from 0 0.65 to this one this interval has a gap of 0 0.35 and the corresponding interval from 30,000 to 40,000 is 10,000 now we will find from here when this nc increases by 1 what will be the value of e naught to that corresponding value this will become 0 0.4 times 0 and 3 5 now if this increases 1 nc increases 1 the e naught increases by 0 0.4 times 0 and 3 5 now here we have found an increase of 1600 from 30,000 to 31,600 so 1600 and what will be the increase in this value now here we will multiply 1600 with this value 0 0.4 times 0 3 and 5 now here from you can easily find the increment here so 1600 multiplied by this value this will give us a value 0 0.056 so the value increment here will be 0 0.056 now if you add this 0 0.65 with this value 0 0.056 this will become approximately uh, 0 and this will be 7 0 0.706 around so here you can take it as 0 0.706 or 0. Point, you can take an approximation of 0 0.71 so now this is best possible approximation by using this method you could use the rule of thumb to find this value but this method helps to get the best possible approximation question number 8 ka d part hai the y is directly proportional to x square and y is equal to m for a particular value of x find an expression for y in terms of m when this value of x is double let's solve now as per given condition y is directly proportional to x square y is directly proportional to x square so y will be equal to here some constant and x square let's say this is equation 1 now it is also given that y is equal to m for a particular value of x y is m for a particular value of x let's say if particular value of x is equal to a now if we put this x in equation 1 we will get uh, y also m so m will be equal to c and a square here from you can find the value of c which will be equal to m over c m over a square now the question says if the value that particular value is doubled now if that particular value is doubled it was a now that x is equal to 2a if it is 
doubled then y will be equal to y is c x square now the value of y will be equal to c is m over a square into now x is doubled which is 2a square now y will be equal to m 4a square divided by a square this will be cancelled y will be equal to 4m now this is the required expression इस वीडियो के लिए इतना ही इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो में किसी नेक्स्ट टॉपिक को अंडरस्टैंड करेंगे थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग अल्लाह हाफिज़